All right, we are here. It's the ECAC season opener. Valorant B Division action. We've got, uh, what is this, WVU? WVU taking on your post University Eagles tonight in a best of three. First map is going to be Lotus. Post going to start on uh, attack here. You got the team comps coming out too. It's going to be Xeno on Jet, Solo God on Raze, Dissident on Breach, L on Killjoy, and Mojo on Omen. Pistol round coming out. Eagle's going to be heading over to C. Making quite a bit of noise. This is going to be a pretty obvious take. Let's see if uh, WVU responds. It's Mojo getting the plant down. It's going to be a full 5-on-5 five five retake here. All the utility coming down. Yampers gets the first blood. Berserker gets another. Bird with a third. And it's going to be... Dissident and uh, L versus all five. And Yompers with the last kill. And that's going to be a clean, flawless for WVU to start things off. And uh, fun fact, that's actually the first round that uh, PostU Valorant has lost so far this season. After the perfect 13-0 last night. Oh, not off to as good of a start. This map. L also making her uh, post U esports debut tonight on the Killjoy. So we'll watch out for her to make some noise. Post on a save round here. Gonna try to. Uh, Pick up a weapon for themselves. WVU playing this uh, pretty passive. Smoke comes out mid, and that's going to be Eagle's Q to back off. Dissident now heading over towards C site. Right there. Gets blocked off by the Killjoy setup. So still with a minute to play with here. Plenty of time. No kills just yet. Dissident was tagged down a little bit by that uh, Swarm Grenade. Big Tremor coming down. Good shot by Dissident as the Eagles are on the board in the frag department. Xeno picks up another. As Dissident does get blinded. Great sky blind. There's going to be two kills traded back. Keith gets another one. And it's going to be Doozy versus Solo as the dust settles the 1v1. Who's going to clutch it out? Spike is not down yet. Solo's going to pick up that Sheriff. Only 10 seconds left to plant. He's got to run and grab the Spike here. Doozy rotating around. Oh, does get the spike down. Doesn't have much room to reposition, though. It's going to get up on the box here. And there it is! Three kills on the round for Solo as the Eagles even things up on a thrifty round. Very well played. And it looks like WVU uh, on a save now. A couple sheriffs for them. Uh, three sheriffs and two classics. Eagle's going to have a big advantage this round. L on the lurk here. Just 
Just gonna grab that orb and get out. Zeno's gonna get that first frag of the round on Keth. Excuse me, Keth, not Keith. Mojo on the lurk. Bulba Zeno with two more, and Mojo with another. Berserker does manage to get one for WVU, but Eagles close that round out quickly with the gun advantage. Now WVU will have some uh, firepower. Eagles gonna looks like they're gonna bonus here. Zeno one point away from knives, but he is gonna hold on to that vandal. Ooh, Mojo's gonna teleport right off the rip here. This is gonna be a quick, quick push through A with L on the lurk. Razel coming out. Can he find anyone? WVU playing hard to get here. And then no targets for Solo with the ult. But Dissident will be able to get the plant down. L still on the lurk. L's going to be so key in this round. Does get caught out, though, by that alarm bot. And takes down Yompers. That's a big kill. 4v2 now. L still at large, but Zeno going to take down the last two. And Eagles now out to a two-round lead. <laughs> oh, thank you, Slap. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Legend has it. I only play Val if it's a full 10-man group. 10-player group, I should say. Eagles kind of rolling here. WVU on, WVU on another save. L going to try to duel Yompers yet again. Ooh, good shot there by Yompers, and that's going to be possibly a gun for Yompers. But Mojo trades one back. Solo gets another. Eagles know they have gun advantage, so they're going to play a little aggressive here. Mojo picks up another one. He's going to teleport into his smoke. Gets a third on Yompers, and Mojo is lighting up the map right now. 4K on the round. Playing really confident. Fantastic work there by the Eagles captain. Four one now. But WVU has some guns now. They have two ultimates to play with. Possibly three if Keth gets a kill or an orb. Gecko Molly does not find anyone. Big ult coming down onto site. Doesn't catch anyone. Mojo's going to TP back site as well with that ultimate. Good flick there from Solo. Going to catch one. Zeno, good trade. 3v3 now. Oh, but Zeno caught with the grenades and will fall. Caught out in the corner there. Oh, but Dissident with two! Last player standing. Doozy versus L. It looks like L has the spike. She's going to back off here. Yep. Good choice. Doesn't have too much to play with. Let's see if she decides to plant B. Yep. Oh, here's the door open. <laughs> that was a close one. He choked him. Oh. And, uh... <laughs> Doozy coming around here. Doozy 
See, running out of time. Oh, he's going to stick it. Oh, no, he just sticks it. Unfortunate. L just couldn't find the spray there. <laughs> A lot of solo fans in the chat. Love to see it. But WVU just very narrowly edging out that round. As L, I believe, got her first uh, post-U esports kill that round. Officially on the board. Zeno already with one off the rip here on Kef. That's a big kill. That's their uh, flasher down. Watch out, get him blind through. Just walk right through all this utility as Bird gets one. And make it two as Mojo a little quick on the TP there. Solo getting detained too. That's unfortunate. Dissident and L versus four. This is going to be tough. Dissident does have the spike. He's going to hightail it out of there. Try to meet up with L on B or C. But uh, really good rotation there from WVU. Good kill by L. Ooh, can't get a second, but does tag down Berserker a bit. Oh, and that's not going to do it. Good attempt there by Dissident. NT, as they say. As they give the defuse over to Bird for that ult point. And uh, Meech does not like what he's seen the last couple rounds. He's going to call a timeout here. So, take a look here. Very even frags across the board for both teams. Um, everyone putting in, you know, relatively the same amount of work, which makes sense with the uh, pretty even scoreline 4-3. Uh, but WVU did take the last two, so uh, Meech wants to kind of stop this, stop this bleeding. Um, although L is actually capped out on credits, which is a really good sign for post. Um, their economy just looking overall in much better shape than uh, WVU, I believe. I believe if they win they this round, WVU will be on a save next round. But uh, <clears throat> I'm not entirely positive about that. But it looks like Kef and Yompers won't even actually have full buys this round. Although I could be wrong about that. We'll see when the timeout ends. But let's see what Meech has in store here for the team. That was uh, that was Post's uh, first timeout. I need to blow something up. Satchel out. Satchel out. Double satchel in for Solo, but he gets uh, concussed as Post playing uh, spread out here. Now this is this is a design play from Meech, the three two. I think they're going to try to bait the rotate over to B or C and then attack A with Mojo and Sala. So Mojo does have the spike. Or maybe it was an, maybe it's an A fake. I'm not really sure. Salo and Mojo are walking up, being very quiet. Ooh, unfortunate timing there. As WVU picks up two. <clears throat> this and it does clean up that kill, but now it's L versus four. <clears throat> and L does not have the spike. I think L just tries to either... I think L either saves here or just tries to get, like, one or two kills. Good shot by Bird. And we're tied up at four. Out. <clears throat> 
All right, dead even. 4-4, four, four, dead even on... Pretty much dead even on the economy as well. Um, now it's going to start really getting interesting. These next rounds are going to be so crucial for how this map goes. Solo going to try uh, just the one satchel peak this time as Berserker throwing that gecko wind over the wall yet again. It looks like they're running the same play this time, except Solo's over here towards C now. L on the lurk through mid. Ultimate is going to catch, uh, I believe, two there from Dissident. But Doozy does get the better of L that time. And it looks like they have successfully baited the rotation over. And Mojo uh, and Xeno are going to have a clear, clear take here. It's Mojo getting the spike down. Yep. And WVU has been completely bamboozled. And they recognize it now and are trying to hustle back to A. But they're not going to have a lot of time for this retake, which is exactly what Post wants. And now Mojo and Xeno backing off to link up with L and Solo. But it's still a 5v4. Mojo prepping that blind, throwing it out. I believe he's going to miss, but Xeno does grab one. Here comes Yompers with a defuse. Xeno with a second, but Yompers is just sticking this. Does break that. Doozy with another. Solo with one with his ult. And there it is. Post sneak that around. Fantastic play call there. Maybe that was the design play, what they were trying to do the previous round. But it really worked well that time. You could tell that WVU was very um, was very convinced that they were going C. And as soon as the spike went down, they were all just like, oh shit, and had to run. They basically all had to sprint to A, and they didn't really have time to kind of set up that retake how they wanted to. Because the bomb was already probably halfway to exploding. So really nice job there by the team. Really nice job there by Meech specifically uh, making that happen. But now, 5-4. Eagles trying to pull ahead here. Economy not looking great for WVU, but they do have weapons uh, for this round. Bomb buddy does get destroyed, so Salo knows there's at least one. Killjoy ult coming down on B, and that's going to force WVU off the site. This dissident gets the plant down. Zeno with a great entry kill. Let's get blinded up. Berserker, Berserker with one trade back, though, and it's a 4v4 now. This isn't going to flash out. Nice blind. Will Tatch Kef. But the Razel finds two. Mojo gets one back. It's Dissident and Solo. Berserker takes down Solo. Oh, and that's going to do it for the round. Berserker with three on the Gecko. Nice job using um, Gecko's little buddy there to uh, mess with Dissident's aim. He had to take out uh, the little dude who's defusing the spike first. Otherwise, he could have just stuck it while the other two members shot at him. So, yeah, Gecko really strong on this map, I think. Uh, Berserker's doing a really nice job. Utilizing that agent to his full potential as WVU evens up the economy. And now Post could be looking at a save if they lose this next round. So this is going to be, I think this is going to be a 7-5 half. The only question is who's going to be up to. Because I believe whoever wins this round will probably win the next round. And it looks like it's going to be a full take onto A. As they uh, pop the Killjoy Util. Dog comes out. We'll catch uh, Solo. But he's fine. Ooh. Dissident somehow manages to get one there. <clears throat> Is Mojo going to ult in and cancel to grab the spike? Good play there from Mojo. El does get blinded, though. Berserker finds one on Solo. That's a big kill from Berserker. That's going to make the rest of this round really tough for post. L still watching for Berserker on the rotation. Just peeks out. I'll just trying to get out of there. Keth finds Zeno. 
Gojo with one, though. Throws that blind out. Killjoy ult coming down, though. And now they're going to be forced to run to C. <clears throat> Mojo going to smoke and drop that. Drop that spike. Still winnable for post. But Mojo and L have to play near flawlessly. And L does not have much to work with here as far as utility goes. Mojo just has one step. Wow, great shot by Yompers. Didn't even give Mojo a chance. And L blinded up. L? Please? Just has to buy time here. No! Oh, he was right there. That was so close to an L clutch. That would have been incredible. Oh, and WVU just narrowly gets that round. That was so close. Oh, man. Last round before the twist. All right, let's see if Post can tie things up going into uh, the second half. Um, they are going to have some pretty good firepower here, so I guess I take back what I said. Solo going to be picking up a judge for himself. But, um, yeah, looking at the... Oh, yeah, Xeno's got knives online. Yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. This this uh, firepower will be pretty pretty even. Get out of my way. Solo trying to get a cheeky judge kill. Will they push up? He does get one. Dissident with the trades as well, and it's a four v three now. Uh-oh. Yeah, Mojo gonna get caught with the utility out. Unfortunate. So, you know, gonna dash in. Oh, but Yomper still takes him down. Dissident does get the trade, though. Spike is now down on A. L and Dissident versus Doozy and Keth. Oh, and that's going to do it. WVU will be up 7-5 at the half after a well-played 2v2 retake. Switching sides. All right. Heading into the second half. WVU up two. This is a very close map. This could this match could go to, to map three. These teams are just very evenly matched. Four ghosts coming out for WVU. You know, gets blinded right off the rip there. And Zeno and Solo both going to charge up here. Blind is not going to connect. And it looks like they're actually going to be rotating over, and Mojo's going to find them. He's going to hear all of them. Gets one, does get a little bit of damage, traded back. And now L's going to be up next. Kills little bro. I don't know if that was quite worth it. As they'll still be able to get the plant down. Post trying to buy time for Solo on the rotation. But it's a 2v1 now as the trades just keep coming through. One make it a 1v1 as Solo grabs that kill. Every single one of these rounds is just on the edge of a knife. Oh, and Keth gets the better of Solo just by a few HP. 39 left. Doesn't get much closer than that. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Post on a save now. 
Just a couple sheriffs for Solo and Mojo. Post once again playing pretty, uh, pretty uh, aggro on defense. Good look away, but Solo just too many coming out there with the firepower advantage. That's too easy for WVU. Let's see if Dissident has anything to say about this push. Just has a classic to his name, though. He's just going to sprint out of there. Oof. <laughs> L does manage to grab one with the classic. That's a pretty good kill as far as uh, economy goes. Almost gets the second, but Bird with four on the round. And WVU holds serve on their buy round. And now this is right here is when the comeback needs to happen for post, if it's going to happen. Um... Because if they lose this round, then they're going to be on another save, and then it's probably going to be 11-5. But, um, yeah, WVU just looking extremely strong here on um, on offense. I believe Post has yet to stop them this half. Tremor going down. Doesn't find anyone. As they're going to be pushing up through mid. Gal might find them next. Good shot from Mojo. Doesn't quite find the kill, though. Oh, Mojo! Good spray control. Gets two. And now L. Oh, good job using the swarm grenade, forcing that Sky to walk across. Does fall to Doozy, though. It's a 3v2. And just barely seeing these heads. Oh, great shot by Berserker. Solo just watching the spike here. Oh. Xeno now in the 1v2. Doozy and Berserker playing this extremely well. And it looks like they're just going to run. Oh, they are going to hang around. Looks like they might be going B. Zeno's got this sniffed out, I think. Yep, he hears it. Spike planted. Knows that it's got to be little bro that planted that. Doesn't even tap it. One Gets one. Gets two! Zeno! Starting the comeback for the Eagles. In style. What a clutch. clutch. And it's going to be 9-6. Post still down three. As Zeno starting to make his presence felt. As Meech calls another timeout. This is where it's got to start happening, right here. It actually doesn't look like... Ooh, this may be tough. Yeah, I don't think Dissident has a full buy. Mojo and Solo don't really either. So even though Post won that last round, it doesn't look like they're going to have enough for full buys here. So this is going to be really tough. Bird's got um, Showstopper as well available. So this one's going to be a tough one. By the way, we do have our uh, season opener of our NBA 2K24 singles matches going on right now on our sister channel. Well, actually, on our main channel. I'm on the sister channel. Uh, Twitch.tv slash post Uh It looks like Psychic is currently up against Southern Arkansas University. 
But back to Valorant. Let's see which. Let's see what Meech has got cooking here. Looks like Berserker and Bird have kind of solidified themselves for WVU as the top fraggers. So uh, post looking to if they're looking to uh, make a dent in these rounds, they've got to take them out. A lot of utility being dumped over here. But no kills just yet. Mojo going to take up the short angle again, maybe? Nope, going for a mid angle. Oh, unfortunate. Just that little shoulder peek was enough to get him to shoot and reveal his position. Lots of utility, some warm grenade. Solo with that judge. Berserker getting this plant down. Oh, dissident caught with the utility out. Unfortunate. And just too much for post to deal with here. No way! Solo finds three just like that. With the judge. Winnable for L. She's a 1v2, though. She's going to grab that Vandal. She's running out of time. Yep, and Keth going to take her down. That was impressive from Solo, but just too little too late. And uh, Post's going to have to really dig deep to come away with this map one win. It was very, very close when Post was on offense. But as soon as WVU got the spike, they just turned it up. And uh, it's been tough for Post to compete here. Good positioning there by Yompers. We'll take down Solo. Yompers with another one. Make it two wall bangs. And this is a 5v2 now. As Post is on their save. So, assuming that WVU is able to close this round out, Post really just cannot afford to lose a single other round. As L just going to try to do her best to hold A against 5. Oh, reveals her position. Last player standing. Yompers with an ace on the table. Doozy not going to let her get her give her a chance there. And uh, WVU with an impressive hold there with their buy round. And now Post, you've got to make this happen. Three ults to play with. Gonna be a mid and uh, C push looks like this time from WVU. But Zeno on the lurk. Good shot. Finds Keth. That's a great op that's a great first blood on the round. <laughs> Wojo. But they're sticking around C. Elle's about to find all four of them. Yep, she hears the footsteps. There's the Killjoy ult. And Elle's just going to stay in this. She's trying to run away now. Will get detained, but is way back sight here. Don't know if they'll be able to see her. Uh-oh. The grenade. Oh, she makes it out. What an escape. Now it's going to be a full retake. Solo gets one. Dissident with another. Raise ult online for Solo. Finds one with it. And L with the last kill of the round. And the Eagles will be able to get the defuse here. And it's going to be 11-7.
<laughs> Yo. What's good, Alex? Zeno, he's got his knives available this round. We'll likely pop them here. Which will be key for the economy moving forward for the rest of this map. Assuming Coast can hold on. Oh, Zeno not popping the knives. Actually, he's got this Vandal now. So let's get blinded. Oh, good blind there from Mojo. Finally finds the one kill, but Zeno down to 10 health. Oh, and that's Spike. Dissident has Spike now. Oh, did he get it? He got it. Good ult there from Doozy. Just gets in, gets the Spike. Still a 5v4, but uh, Zeno and Dissident tagged down extremely low. Mojo going to be so key here. On this rotation, if they come back towards A, they're not going to expect Mojo to still be here. And they are, in fact, coming. They're not making any noise, though, so Mojo is not going to hear this coming. Too slow on the draw, Yompers. Evens it up. 4v4 now. It is very low, though. Solo hears them. As Yompers. Oh, finishes off Zeno with the tur turret. That was unfortunate. Good kill by Solo. Make it two. Make it. Oh, I thought he had that. I really thought he had that. Oh, they don't have time to plant? They don't have time to plant. That's it. Post wins the round. Solid. Really, really solid round from Post. And uh, WVU just did not give themselves enough time to plant there. Really good job by Post there, recognizing when uh, to just live, right? When to just play your life. L, as soon as they recognized that WV didn't have enough time to plant, L just hid and spawn. <laughs> no, no reason to come out and, and give them a last second clutch. When, uh, when the round is essentially over. So 11-8 now. Full buys across the board. Ooh, it's going to be a grenade blind play? Nope, doesn't throw the blind. Blind goes down mid, but uh, nobody collapses on it. getting blinded up. Zeno does get one. Right with a trade bag. Like, these trades just coming in so fast. 2v2 after the dust settles. And still, the spike is not planted. Oh, good shot by Yompers. L now on a 2v1. This is going to be tough. Ooh, and not fast enough on the flick. Doozy takes her down, and WVU will now be on map point. Zeno does finally pop the knives here. But nobody's around. Good look away as Dissident grabs one. And Mojo gets out of dodge. Still has about 100 health. Solo watching this high angle. 5v4. 
After that pick by Dissident. WVU playing this uh, pretty slowly, pretty quietly. I say that Kep gets an orb. Dissident going to look to maybe stun for Mojo here. Hoppers picks one up, so does Bird, and just like that, the, the hit happens. 30 seconds left. Good timing there from WVU, L, and uh, Solo. Spike planted. Need to get over to C quick now. Last player standing. Oof. Bird gets the jump on L. And uh, now, after killing that dog, they're going to know exactly where Solo is. In the 4v1. Can Solo save the map? There's one. But he cannot get any more. And WVU will take map one, 13 to 8. Eagles kept it close for a while. But once WVU got the spike, they did not let up. Bird, the MVP on the map, 25-15 and 5 on the raise. Solid the MVP for the Eagles, 19-16 and 4. As post falls 13-8 here on map 1. And we'll be right back with map 2 in just a minute. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back. WVU took map one. And we'll be heading to Haven for map two. You know what, I'm gonna try this with the audio. Wait. Wait, why is Zeno sitting? We can get an update on Xeno. Um, all right, let me try this. Let's try that. All right, hopefully that's better. All right, so we got a substitution coming in for this map. Uh, it's gonna be Kevin Bittner subbing in for Xeno. Whoa, Dissident in the middle of all of them. Nice shot One by Yompers and uh, Kevin. Now the last left in a 1v4. Can you guys hear the uh, game audio a little bit better now? Team ace. And it's going to be a team ace for WVU. To start things off. Looking at C, now they're going to rotate off. It's going to be tough on a full save here. Bird does not quite find that shot. Nice shot by Solo. Yompers gets two in return, though. Wow, Solo. Popping off with this marshal right now, making this a 3v3 on posts thrifty. Good job checking all the angles in garage here. But they're gonna get stunned up as Berserker finds one. Ooh, and revealed. And uh, that's gonna do it for the round. Just like that. You're not being shot at, you're doing something wrong. Oof. Good shot by Bird. Takes down Solo immediately. That's going to make it tough for the Eagles to take some space here.
That was gonna get stunned up. She does make it across though. Now Joe gonna try to duck this L drone. Cannot. This thing gets one wall bang there. So Joe gonna try to get the plant down. And he does so. Still a 3v4 here. Let's do as he gets another. This thing gets one, but the kill's just coming in too fast for uh, WVU. It's just, it's just so loud. It's just so incredibly loud for me. And I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, Eagles on another save round here. I don't have all day. Oof. Spike L gets take a. gets dropped by birds uh op. They gotta get that off the map. Nice flick there by Solo. Does take out Doozy Berserker with another in return. And it's a 3v4 yet again. Is Kevin getting the plant down? Wow, bird. Finds Kevin there. Oof. Uh, the Yompers with two more. And it's going to be a 4 0 start for WVU coming out strong out the gate. Thanks. It's gonna be another uh, another A push for the Eagles. Bring them down. I'll find you. You'll catch them. Mojo gonna get the plant down. Nobody's there. Still a full five v five. Dissident. Prepping this blind. There it is. Both going to get blinded. Here comes the ultimate. That's going to be a huge ult. Mojo gets one. Kevin another. Yompers trades one back. Good positioning here from Mojo. One enemy remaining. Good trigger discipline. And uh, yeah, Bird just going to hightail it out of there. And post is on the board. Good take there. But Bird, Bird's still holding on to this up. Eagles have got to find a way to uh, sit this man down. avoids dying to birds op again
Solo checking all these angles. Oh, he finds Kef, but Bird too quick on that reaction. Trades him back. And uh, L with the spike now going to be looking to head over towards C. Good uh, duo peek there with Mojo. Oh no, but Doozy. Just sprays L. Thirty seconds left. And now Mojo forced to get the plant down. I know exactly where. But Dissident pushing through the smoke finds two right before the cipher roll comes down. That was huge. And Doozy now coming up. Oh, just going to fire through this smoke. And is he saving? Is he going to concede the round? Great blind there from Dissident as Mojo cleans it up. And the Eagles take another one. 4-2 now. Go back to Lotus. Remember that uh, WVU looks really, really strong on offense, not so much on defense. So the fact that they're doing well on defense this time does not bode well for the Eagles. Looks like it's going to be a slow C take. It's Mojo finally creeping up to Garage. It's all going to dash forward, actually. Get out of my way. Cover going out. And pop the knives. Interesting ult here from Mojo. Oh, he sees Bird. That's what he wanted to do. Let's find out where Bird was. Oh, great shot, too. Takes her down. Distant doozy trade back each. Oh, unfortunate. Mojo's bullets got kind of blocked by the uh, wall there. Plant down. No more Ten seconds left. Kevin kind of caught in the middle of nowhere here. Solo with a great kill, though, trying to bail him out. And he gets another one in the Eagles with another round. Fantastic work there by Solo and Kevin and L on that post plant. And uh, WVU is going to be on a bit of a save here as Post has taken the last three rounds. <laughs> and there it is. Solo off the rip. Oh, no. The dash back didn't work. Unfortunate. And uh, WVU playing extremely aggressive on this thrifty round for them. Dissident needs to find the spike. Kevin just off on an adventure here. <laughs> oh, Keth just kills him through the blind. And Bird knew exactly where Kevin was trying to do. And uh, WVU, I guess it wasn't a full thrifty. And uh, Mitch going to call timeout.
economy is looking pretty good for post. They'll be able to survive another couple rounds at least with full buys. We'll see what Misha's got cooking. All right, we're back after the timeout. Let's see what the Eagles have in store. Oh, wow. WVU uh, kind of knew exactly what uh, Post was going to try to do there. Mojo with good positioning here if they decide to push up. Yompers gets one. Oh, Mojo's bullets given Keth a haircut there. L now sprinting over to A. The bird gets dissident. L is going to get the plant down, but it's just L and Kevin versus four. And here comes the Killjoy ult to secure the round. And Bird going to catch L retreating from the Killjoy ult. And uh, Kevin is just so far away at this point, he might as well just save. Yomper's just going to stick the defuse here. And it's going to be 6-3 WVU. As on the bright side, Kevin will be able to save this Vandal. And then they will die. Oh, little uh, little knife peek, little shoulder peek. It's gonna dash into the smoke. Oh, too indecisive, and Keth takes him down. Dissonant will trade back though. Gets to Dissonant gets another. Berserker shuts down Mojo though. Three for Dissident. Make it four. An ace on the table. For the post U Esports rookie. Bird, though, with the op. Doesn't want to let it happen. Oh, he's distant. Here's the footsteps. That's not ready. Oh, if he That's peeks out ready. now, he's got it. Flash out. Great flash. Oh, but Kevin takes the ace. Oh, no. <laughs> Dissident had that ace. It would have been his first post U ace. <laughs> Kevin's just going to take that kill. Uh, post keeping pace here with WVU, you have to kind of think that WVU is going to do a ton of damage when it's their turn with the spike, but we'll see. Double knife peeks here. It's all going to dash up. That's one. Not get any more. And the eagle's going to rotate out now. And now 
I'll go quiet. They're looking to B. They haven't hit B at all yet. Is Doozy going to ult onto the back of uh, sight here? Berserker gets one. Rotating over. Kevin just peeks out a little bit too far. Dissident in L and a 2v4. And the Dissident gets one. Too many targets, but he manages to hit them all. Dissident with three. And there it is. Four on the round for Dissident. Again. Clutching this out for Post and keeping this one close. Post has a really good shot to make this a 6-6 half now. Incredible work from Dissident, the Post U Esports rookie. He loves getting those assists, but uh, this time he's getting the kills. Solo with an early pick here. What? How did that miss? Yompers gets two. Berserker with another in the round falling apart now. For post. I'm back. Sorry about that. Ellen, Kevin, they've got to secure this spike here. Kevin on the flank. Did not get the better of Yompers that time. And it's going to be another 7 5 half. WVU on top. Post definitely keeping this one close, but. um. Now I feel like it's when WVU is really going to turn it up. This pistol round so important. Post manages to claim this round, then uh, WVU will be on a save, and uh, we'll be likely looking at a 7-7 game, but Eagles have got to take this uh, pistol round first. Solo pushing up. I love that. Just peek out, dash back. And uh, it looks like they're going to be rotating off now. Kevin is going to catch them on his cam. Post has to wait for the rotation to come through for this retake. Berserker gets one. Yompers gets another. Solo with one. Is he overheating? Whoa. Last player standing. Shots him in the knee. <laughs> it takes down the three for Solo in the round, but four for Yompers. It's 8-5 WVU, and now I think is when we'll start seeing the snowball happen. 
and WVU will start to pull ahead a little bit. way they peek this right oh oh i thought he has an op it was just the marshal solo trying to get some heads there but unfortunately only gets the shoulders and berserker tag down the 49 health but this is gonna be a tough round for the eagles as both their top fraggers are down and they're in a 5v3 and on a save <laughs> So everything working against them here for this round. Honestly, WVU should, could just sprint at the site and probably take it. Mojo just managed to get one with the Frenzy, though. But Doozy just spraying through the smoke. We'll find him. An L with only 15 health to her name. Pushing up with Kevin. And Kevin a little bit too slow taking those angles. And Bird with four on the round. Nice round from him. And it's 9-5 now. WVU is starting to run away with it, but Post is going to have some firepower this round. Oh, wow. Solo dashing forward. He's going to find two off the rip. And the spike is down as well. Ooh, Mojo playing too close. We'll get caught out by that drone. Ooh, the Berserker drops L, but Kevin coming in. Gets two and make it three with dissident and the eagles do manage to take that round which was they sorely needed round there Playing pretty spread out this time. Cover going out. Kevin with a kill off the rip here. Bird trades him back. An L with another one. And it's going to be a 3v3 after the dust settles. But Yomper's down to 30 health. Wow, great shot on Dissident, though. Incredible. L will drop her, though. And now it's a 2v2 with Mojo on the lurk. And they're pretty... They're pretty convinced they're going A when they're actually not. Spike planted. And now they know it's planted C. And they're going to have to sprint back across the map. They're in a pretty good position, although they have to be fast. They're not going to have much time here with the bomb ticking down. Bring them down. Prowler coming out from L. They're buying some more time. They're going to need to go soon. One enemy remaining. 
Oh, and Mojo gets the last two. What a round from Post. Great retake. And the Eagles keeping it close here. Interesting angle for Mojo to take here. Knives oh, popping out from uh, Bird. Knoppers gets one. Bird gets another with the knives. Oh, and Solo can't find it. Dissonant gets one, but just like that, Kevin in a 1v4. Right, there it is. The Yompers with the last one. And now it's 10-7 as uh, WVU closing in on a 2-0 sweep here in week one of the ECAC B division. Good kills coming out from the Eagles. Solo dashing forward. Shadows traveling. Solo with another. Spikes down here, too. He gets one back on L. One enemy remaining. Solo watching this tight angle will find another. Ooh, can't quite get his fourth. And Doozy now going to take this spike and teleport out. Spike planted. Kevin just a little bit slow. Last player standing. And now it's an omen v omen. Retake situation. Mojo's got his own ult, as well as some smokes to play with. So is he going to be coming up through garage here? Cover going out. Mojo going to smoke himself off. See if he can get this at least half. Gets it half. Does he stick it? And he just sticks it! And the Eagles with a thrifty. Incredible. Doozy with the last kill. But it doesn't matter as Post takes the round. Really well played by Mojo there. And the Eagles really keeping this one close. Kevin in trouble here. It's caught by all the utility, but Solo does get a pick on the back end. Oh no, Yompers. Great kill in the 2v1. And gets out. 4v3 now. Keth and Doozy, though, quickly make it a 3v2. Dissident not looking in the right spot. As Mojo gets blinded up, and that's that's an easy round there for WVU. That was looking dicey for them at the beginning, but... They turned it up and took the round. And uh, this is 
is going to be a save round for post. Time for a field test. Salah rocking that Marshall again, but it's going to be a C hit. Dissident gets knocked up. We do eventually find him. Bird with another, and it's L and Kevin. A little bit slow in the rotation here. Spike planted. In a 2v5. Last player standing. Flawless. And there's a flawless as uh, WVU holds serve in the buy round. And now, obviously, Post staring down quadruple match point. We'll try to prevent another 13 8. See if Salo has anything to say about this one. I'm just gonna get concussed immediately. Oh, and Berserker with the first blood on Salo. That's massive for WVU. Ooh, and Ella a little bit too crazy with that peek. Not centering her cross at first, but Dissident and Mojo pick up too. This is suddenly winnable for the Eagles. And now a 3v3 map was wide open. Doozy and uh, Berserker pushing up. Mojo going to walk through this smoke. Gets concussed. But just sits there. Mm. Good cipher ult here. Cover going out. Ooh, dissident. One enemy remaining. Pretty quick on the retake, but it's a one v one now. Here, can dissident clutch it out? Is he gonna get it halfway? Is he gonna stick it? Oh, so close. Six health left on Berserker, but WVU will take it. 2-0 over post. Yomper's the MVP of the map. 303 combat score, 23, 10, and 2 on the Killjoy. Solo, the MVP once again for the Eagles. 2018 and 3. So Post will fall in the week one matchup. And we'll drop to 0-1 on the season. But we did have some uh, some good NBA 2K action tonight. Psychic and Fletcher both won their NBA 2K singles matches. So they're off to a great start. Um, I'm not sure how Smash did. I got to connect with them and see what happened in their match. But that is going to do it for the streams tonight, everyone. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to have uh, Rocket League. We're going to have um, Overwatch. And we're going to have some NBA 2K 3v3 action, 3v3 My Player coming out. The very first match of the season in that mode. So, we're really excited about that. Uh, match is going to start at uh, 8 p.m. tomorrow. So, we'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching.